So there is an icy comet that is racing towards Earth. It is. Oh well, maybe this is not that fun. <laughs> oh, it, it, oh, it's fun for me. Uh, <laughs> the comet is none other, none other than Twelve P slash Ponds Brooks. It is a humongous comet. I might, I can't remember if I covered it on the um podcast before. I probably have because I've been reporting on it as it's approaching earth um continuously so the size is 18 miles wide or approximately three times the size of um mount everest and it has been in the astronomy spotlight for quite some time as its orbit is close its closest approach to earth comes every 72 years if i'm correct it is a long time it is a very Mm. long time regardless so Co- difference between comets and asteroids comets are usually ice um asteroids are usually yeah. rock um but as the comet is approaching earth its icy surface begins to heat and its innards which are less um dense than its outer crust if i'm right. certain begin to melt and forming gas that gas then builds pressure under the icy crust and when it gets hot enough and there's enough pressure, boom, outburst, massive outburst of outgassing. And then through that outgassing, we get the iconic comet tail or as astronomers called a comma. So as the comet is hurtling its way towards the inner solar system it is continuously getting hotter and hotter and hotter as it's approaching the sun which means more outgassing more explosions and yeah it becomes active more active than it does usually now this comet is i think three or four times the size of what an average comet is it is humongous and the outgassing actually forms devil horns well what looks like devil horns on uh, when you're looking through an astronomer's telescope at it Mm -hmm. and there's an image that's um in my article that um for everyone listening um head over to the youtube section you can see the difference over the days of brightness so when the comet is outgassing there's a there's a lot of gas surrounding it, which means there's more mass for light to reflect off of. So through an astronomer's telescope, the object appears brighter because there's more light being reflected off of the um, gas molecules. Yep. Yeah. So um, Earth is safe, by the way. This is just a cool comet that comes around every 70 some yeah. years. Um, it's traveling at 40,000 miles per hour. <laughs> and for something that's... A- do you have a telescope? Do I have a telescope? No, I would yeah. love one though. Yeah. It'd be great. I, I just like, yeah. I would love one. Yeah, I've always wanted one, but um, I don't know how much I can see in the Southern Hemisphere. There's a... Uh, yeah. Most of the stuff you that I'm reporting see. on is from the Northern. So it's like I miss out on a lot of it, unfortunately. Mm. Um, but yeah, I would love one. If, they, if any telescope companies want to sponsor the podcast... Send me sure. a telescope. I'll, I'll take some <laughs> photos. <laughs> um, this comment, just to round this story off, this is uh, really quick. Um, yeah, the comment is moving at an astonishing 40,000 miles per hour, and on June 2nd, 2024, it will come within 144 million miles of Earth, which is approximately 1.5 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. So it's very far away, still close in quotation marks relative to the size of the universe but um yeah yeah, cool you could you could probably see it from a if you had a telescope in your backyard um when it's when it's it's getting to its closest approach but um yeah cool little uh devil comment um